Howdy viewers, Brad Proprietor of Barstool Entertainment doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. In this case, I'm going to show you a hidden treasure. It's called the High Stakes Treasure. And the only way you can get this map, well, you can get it two ways. The first way is you rob it from a treasure hunter. Either have to shoot them tie him up, whatever you got to do, you got to take it from him. If, But he's surprisingly fast and surprisingly strong. If you try three times and you can't get it from him, well, you can just buy it from the uh, fence somewhere for 50 cents because I'm guessing the guy gave it up because he was tired of looking. So what happened is, I got it because I bought it from the fence in Emerald Ranch. And I'll show you that. And then I'll show you the locations for the other maps and then eventually the treasure. So let's get on with the high stakes treasure hunt. I came upon the first map after I went to Seamus to sell um, the jewelry that Penelope gave me via the Course of True Love Part 5. And then I was buying some other stuff and I looked at the uh, um, documents he had for sale and I found the map. Yeah, I scrolled through the documents, and like I said, I came upon the map. I had to flip back up, 50 cents, high stakes, treasure map, one. What the heck, I'll buy it. And then I got the treasure map, I took a look at it, and, well, it seems kind of obvious, but the location is out there somewhere. I had the uh, guidebook I bought, so, you know, you can also look it up on the internet or watch my video, and it's the Cumberland Falls, where the first, or should I say the second treasure map is located. When you get to the Cumberland Falls, you want to be at the base of it, and now I'm going to look through for the treasure map, and I'm going to take a look. And you look at it, and you look at the indication, and yeah, it seems kind of obvious when you look. Now, in order to get to the proper location, you have to be on the downside of the falls, which is where Arthur is currently located. And then he has to get to the opposite side of the falls to get to where he needs to get to. And I'm having him swim toward that location. Now you're in this little nook behind the falls, and you can pick up a bunch of free perch because they fall over the falls and die. And they're all three-star perch, which I guess means something. But yeah, pick up some perch, pick up some fish, you know, have a nice fish dinner. It's probably fish fry, fry Friday, maybe. Yeah. Anyway, once you pick up enough perch, you go back here into this nook and it will indicate search. Yeah, it, it, when it says search, hit the X 
and you will find map 2. And that location, you can take a look at the map, and once you figure out, yeah, it looks interesting. And then I will tell you where you can find treasure map 3 at the next location. But I got to get Arthur to his horse. And now it is off to the next location. Like I said, I'm going to get Arthur to his horse. And we are going to move on to the next location. The final map is located at Barrow Pond, way up in northern Grizzlies. And yeah, I'll show you on the map. It's right here, Barrow Lagoon, actually. And you got to go to that island that's in the middle or at the edge of the lagoon. Now you got to find a way to get up to the log that crosses from the mainland to the island. And once you get to the middle of the log, you find the map, which then gives you the location of the treasure. Now that I've found the map, I'm going to take a look at it and inspect it here. Uh, yeah, I kind of know where that is, and it's actually a very common location for some reason. But now i got to get Arthur to his horse. And, oh, oh, yeah, don't do it the way I did it and smash your head against the rock. Anyway, I'm going to get Arthur to his horse and on to the next location. The final location is actually one you've probably been to if you do the um, Geology for Beginners mission where you find the 10 stone carvings. It's right here by Bacchus Station and you can see there's a dinosaur bone and a rock carving nearby. Well, what happens is you actually have to go down the same path as the rock carving. And I'm going to walk down here between these two and show you where the rock carving is and then show you how to get to the um, treasure. There's the rock carving, but now you go up this way to get to the treasure. Now, the gold, you get three gold bars for completing the mission. But there's a simple problem getting back. And, yeah, this way, ouch. You don't want to do it that way. And if you're stuck on a cliff somewhere, and you're wondering, how can I get off this cliff without jumping and dying if I can't climb back? Well, there is a simple solution.
and I'm going to show it to you in a moment here. I want to get Arthur back on stable ground because he could slip and fall and die. What you want to do, you're on the cliff, you go to items, and you go camping. And you will be transported magically to a campsite because the makers of the game, Rockstar, assume you knew how to get back to your horse and to the campsite. That simple. Just go camping. If you found this video informative, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon because I post four videos related to video games a week plus some shorts and some specials and you don't want to miss out. And the best way not to miss out is to subscribe. Well, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by. Thank you.